Hello, welcome to Spring Forest Qigong Every Day. I'm so glad you've taken a moment to share your love with me and to take a breath to rebalance your energy, bring peace in the self, peace in the world. So I invite you to take a breath, pause and settle into this. So again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Maybe you've watched this video in the morning and in the evening. So I greet you at all those moments. Hi, I'm Emily Jarrett Hughes. I live where the Mississippi and the Minnesota rivers meet. I use she, her pronouns. And I am a teacher and a healer and forever a student. I'm honored to be your a guide this week for Spring Forest Qigong every day. And I'm going to um, conclude this week of reflecting on gratitude and generosity today. So um, it's been uh, fun to have five days to move through different feelings about gratitude and generosity. And I began the week uh, taking a moment to appreciate all that we've been given, the gift of life, to tap into the gratitude, the way we are sustained by the universe. And then moved into talking about how the nature of these gifts is that they need to move. They need to move and their nature is to reflect and, um, and bind us in relationships. And uh, we can treat gift giving as a way to honor the relationships that give to us and to strengthen them. Giving is meant to be generative. And I also started this week um, sharing that I love to give. I love giving gifts that call forth people's souls, that make them feel really seen um, or that in some really indirect way, um, conveys something that's really precious to me to this other person. Um, and I have also had to learn a lot about how to not overgive. And this is an area where I feel so grateful for Spring Forest Qigong for really giving me tools and practice for what, um, how to give. And for example, the simple giving my care and love it used to be when I would think about all of my friends, my family that are suffering, like, oh, this person is healing from this, and that person just had this hard thing happen. It would be like kind of making a list of like everybody I'm worried about and worrying about them. And then at the end, is feeling so down because everybody's just in a bad way, right? Kind of losing energy over that. And then Qigong really has taught me to think about it in a different way. Instead, um, I focus first on how we are, I'm filled up by the love from the universe. Filled up so completely. There's this infinite in energetic support from the universe, from the earth. And I am simply a lens, a focuser, a reflector helping direct that love into other places. And so sometimes when I visualize my friends, my family that are suffering, it's almost like I am just them and I'm, I'm receiving the universe on their behalf. So I receive the love of the universe on behalf of this person and then on behalf of that person. And by the end of that time, I just feel so energized, so peaceful, everything is okay. And so that is the type of giving that um, is in balance. It's, um, I'm both receiving and I'm letting it be shared. So today um, we're concluding our walk through the five elements. We've gone through it and just starting in a different place, but again, following how they feed each other. And so today we are inspired by the earth element. By earth, I mean soil, like that, the, um, the ground um, that nourishes us. You know, think about how 
the roots of a tree are deep in the soil and they receive all that they need through that soil going deep, 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 deep down. Um, and so that um, sense of being really sustained fills us with a peacefulness, a groundedness that is so powerful and um, may it sustain our giving that um, we, we can trust that what we have is enough. We don't need to be more or have more for other people. We have all that we need. Mm. This practice really helps us cultivate and remember, train our body to remember that feeling. We have all that we need. We are totally supported. And what we give is enough because we're simply letting it pass through us. And they're letting the infinite pass through us. So this is why I really loved um, when in the comments in one of the earlier days of this practice, um, yeah, commented about how they've seen that uh, many people um, come, I think they're a doctor, and many people come, uh, get very sick. And usually it's because the, the giving and receiving has been very out of balance. And um, we haven't, and then have lost the connection to the fact that giving is meant to be generous and should be giving us life in an ideal way. But we found the sustainable way to give when it is something that gives. And so um, be curious as we go through the season, uh, listening to how you are being given life through your giving. A beautiful, beautiful thing. And I am certainly feeling that the uh, the way you call me forward by inviting me to lead Spring Forest Qigong every day gives me a lot of gifts of um, tapping things in me that I did not always know was right there. So thank you. All right. So we're going to begin our practice with some bouncing. We're going to attune to the vibration of the earth. How perfect for a day inspired by the earth element. Your feet are underneath your hips and take just a breath in, settle in, breathing in from your feet to the top of your head and exhaling from your head down into your feet. And then through your knees, soften into that earth, the gravity, and let yourself be bounced by the earth energy. Let go into it. Let your whole body release and relax into it. If you do so, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And the breath and go out the sides of your tongue as the tongue rests on the roof of your mouth. Give beautiful feeling of being contained and releasing at the same time. Mm -hmm. bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, how good it is to be bounced by the earth. Feel yourself be aligning, tuning, coming back into the vibration of earth. You're gonna raise your hands above the head, continuing to bounce. Letting your wrists flop. This is opening your lungs, opening your ribs. Noticing the balance of inhaling and exhaling. You need to let the breath flow through you. You can't only hold on to the breath. You have to also let it go. And the letting it go, letting the gift of the breath go makes room to receive another gift of breath. And bring your hands down to your side. And we're going to bounce side to side. Mm 
greeting your organs. I also just greet your space, appreciate the space surrounding you, the little freshened eyes of the moment, and loosening up the spine. Coming back to center. And the stillness. Hmm, how could that feel? So now we're going to tap and cup to stimulate the energy channels in our body, we're opening the front channel, starting here below the eyeball, tapping nine times. There's love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And tapping the base of the eyebrow with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And with a cupped head, cupped, cupped hand, cupping the top of the head with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And cupping the base of the head, I like to support the forehead with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And then massaging C7, the large vertebra, sticking, protruding the most. I massage these little circles. You do that, just put in that feeling, love, joy, peace. All right, I'm gonna stimulate the channels in the heart by stimulating the hands, the elbows, and the armpits, which connect directly with the heart. Here we go. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Into the left side first. This love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And into the right with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And into the armpit with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. The other side, love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. All right, we're going to tap the tailbone. However, it's comfortable for you. We're tapping all the way down to the tip of the tailbone and up the sacrum. So it's a nice wide channel for lots of nourishing energy to come up from the earth into our, your body. Oh, channels open. Okay. And then again, keeping these loose fists, we're going to cup the hip joints. It helps to lean forward just a little bit. With love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And we're going to cup the knees, this important connector between us and the earth. Tapping the front of the knees with love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Behind the knees, love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. For the left knee, really feel this love and joy. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. You feel those qualities tucked into your knees? Love, love, love. Joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Beautiful. We're going to come to a slightly wider stance, your feet underneath your shoulders. Knees soft, spine long and straight, and your arms like relaxed, the energized pine branches hanging by your sides, your fingers separated, a little bit rounded. Energize, but relax like a pine tree. We're for pine tree song. And chant even this word song. Activate that vibration. Song. Song. Feeling that relaxed and energized feeling all the way through your head. You may draw your chin back a little bit. 
Resting the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. A smile on your face. And invite the soft pine tree feeling into your thoughts, into your mind, in your emotions. And breathing in through all of your pine needly skin, breathing in pure love of the universe and collecting it in the energy center behind your navel. We call the lower Dantian. And the exhale, releasing what you no longer need. In particular, in this moment, I invite you to practice a chi breath for balancing the yin and yang. Since the theme today is that balance. As you breathe in, breathe in and draw your navel in just a quarter of an inch, just a little bit. We'll put a little bit more of the inhale in your chest. As you exhale, let your belly relax. Let more of the exhale be in your belly. You might feel a little bit opposite of how you normally breathe. It helps rebalance the yin and yang in your body. And I invite you to remember that password that connects you with all of the healing love and information in the universe. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Notice extra quietness, shift in vibration that has settled over beautiful chi field that we share from that password. Now gently bring energy up to your heart. Your heart is breathing in the light in the universe. That light is transforming any energy that's stuck or no longer needed, and it's going back to the universe. And you call on your guide, your best example of mastery of love. Maybe it's a role model, an ancestor, a great teacher. You feel their love, their example, how it just softens, awakens your heart. Now take a moment to set your intention for your practice today. In this way, we're also setting your intention for your day, for your healing, complete healing of any illness, aches or pains, abnormal tissue, complete healing of any stuck emotion, negative karma, the activation of your purpose, Activation of your longevity and your spiritual awakening. 
anything in particular you want to say now or anyone you want to visualize with us in your practice, do that now in your heart. And know that you are guided and supported and deeply heard. And so now our job is to simply feel and follow that feeling and flow of energy in our practice. Right. So we are going to begin connecting heaven and earth. I'd like to begin by placing my palms away from my side and then bringing them up above the head. This helps the arms come above the head in the most comfortable way for the shoulders. And make sure your shoulders are dropped. Sometimes we need to remember and check in many times. And it's always good, better, best. As you stand here, the most important thing is to feel your roots six feet, nine feet, 12 feet in the soil. Connecting you deep with support, you will not be blown over. Feel how you are, you cannot be blown over right now. The breath in, bend your knees, lower your body on that inhale. Exhale, straighten up. And if any point this isn't too much on your shoulders, that's okay. We do what we can. Breathing in, you can bring your hands down to a goal post. Up, you can rest your hands. You can focus on the visualization of the roof. You can take a moment and rest your hands down by your side. Part of what's so wonderful about this practice that Masterland created it is adapted for our modern context where we are not getting the benefit of putting our hands over the head like we used to as human beings. We used to regularly have our hands over our head and this really helps the limb and so many other systems. This is also good for the liver, good for many things. So we're making sure our bodies still get this really important posture. And if it's uncomfortable, uh, it's all the more reason to find a way to gently practice and take. Let's feel the groundedness. You have every support from the earth. Every material, every nutrient is there for you in the earth. You practice feeling that grounded and support. And also you feel the universe providing you with all the energy you need, all the love, all the guidance. Feel so peaceful. Take two more breaths with this movement. Beautiful. And now, very important, gently bring your hands down. Don't let your arms flop down. Bring them down gently. So a very smooth, comfortable transition for your shoulders. All right. We're going to transition to a seated position to do some dolphining 
of the spine. Be a wonderful preparation for seated meditation. If you want to continue to find your feet rooted on the ground, this is a wonderful moment to continue that grounded feeling that is cultivated through that movement. Your feet are still rooted nine feet underground, and there's roots even through your seat. And they're, they're connecting you to all that deep water sources, deep mineral sources, all the treasures in the earth. And still in this chair, you cannot be blown over. And now we'll gently start dolphining the neck, breathing in. And scooping up an egg with the chin, exhaling, drawing it back gently. As you hold the egg back, that stimulates the stretch all the way down the chest to the bottom of the rib cage. And this is help bringing the balance, opening any imbalances and blockages in the diaphragm. And that is a key place for helping our body stay in balance for you and young. I invite you to practice this with peace. What if this egg, a gathering, the egg of peace, you draw it in, you take it in deeply, and you also let it go. What if this is a magical, a peaceful egg just floats out as you let it go, blessing the universe, and you draw in another one. Maybe today, a peaceful bubble. And each time you do this, there is a beautiful, peaceful bubble floating around you in the room, floating into space around you. We'll take one more dolphin of the neck this way. And coming back to stillness. Feel the peace in your heart. How oh, beautiful, so oh, grateful for this practice and for the universe that gives us this gift of peace in the heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And gently bring the energy from your heart down to your navel. You see it spin like a ball, spinning faster and smaller and brighter, faster and smaller and brighter. Until it is a gem of condensed chi that's going to tuck right in behind your navel and your lower energy center. Mm. And take a gentle breath into your navel. And rub your hands together. 
standing up just so you can see me. You don't need to stand up. Rubbing between your fingers. And massaging your face and the heart. Oh, sweet, precious you. You're so beautiful. You are so precious. Combing your hair, your scalp. And cupping your head. Especially the base of the head, that special place where the spine, excuse me, where the spine and head meet. Head and the thing here. Okay. Through energy points that connected your whole body. Let's um, cup the kidneys. It's winter season here in the north, but it's always good, even if you're in the south. Good, and massaging with the backs of your hands. Also, so good for your skin. And then massaging with the palms of your hands. Mm, feeling that warmth going into your kidneys. Oh, just this warm, supportive energy for you today. So lovely. Oh, so, thank you so much. Next week, I am so honored to pass the baton to um, Anne Minoff. Uh, she's been teaching Spring Forest Qigong for going on 15 years. And I love, 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 love learning from Anne. She has so much experience. She's also draws from her experience as a chiropractor. She always brings great insight. So I look forward to learning from her for next week. So thank you to all the lineage of Spring Forest Qigong teachers, especially Master Lin. Thank you, thank you to these teachings that are so simple and so profound. And thank you, beautiful community and their beautiful chi field that is so tangible and so beautiful. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day and I hope to see you in first Qigong every day next week. Bye for now.